Hey there, I'm Rennie with Smart Home Rigs. And while I'm packing to move, this will be my last video in this location. I just had to record a short video for anybody who got one of these and didn't read this. I pulled this out. I know it's got a plug on it. I know it came with a plug, but the plug that came with the camera was longer, so I used that. But if you didn't use this special triangle cable, then when you connected your light to this, it worked. When you connected your camera to it, it worked. When you try to control that light from the camera, it did not work. And when you try to run a firmware update, it does not work any longer. And if that happened to you, like it happened to me, Here's the firmware fix. We're going to include the website in the description where you can download the update. All you need is a micro SD card. Put it in the camera with the regular cable so that you can do the firmware fix. Do the firmware fix on the camera. Then use the special triangle cable to connect it back to this and set it back up and it'll work correctly. Once the firmware fix is completed, then Simply disconnect the regular cable and connect the special triangle cable again. Plug the special triangle cable into the socket. Reset up that camera and then you'll be able to control that light with that camera. All right, when all else fails, read the instructions. Right here, it says quite specifically, please use the USB cable included in this package. Do not use the original Wise Cam V3 cable. I feel like this is our firmware issue on the Wise car all over again. And if that is the case, then to fix this, I'm going to have to go to their website and download the firmware and reflash this camera right here. Uh, for anybody who missed that video that was in our Wise car video, and we'll put a link to that video right up here. I'll be right back as soon as I get it downloaded on the micro SD card. To flash the firmware, get the version you're looking for from the support site. We're going to put links in the description as well. Once you download the file, be sure to rename it demo underscore wcv3.bin. Then follow the directions that we'll outline for you here. All right. So now I uh, used a micro SD card and an adapter. So I could put the firmware from Wise's website on here. And now all I have to do is actually install it first thing unplug it open the bottom of this because we're getting to this port that's right up here by this hinge I find it better to turn this all the way around and then open it up it makes this a lot easier to get to and this side here should be the micro SD card because it's the longer side so now I'm going to put this card in there and it goes in with the gold contacts facing the front lens. Lock it in. And now I have to hold this setup button while I plug it in until I see the status light turn purple. Okay. This way. That way I can plug this in and just plug the outlet in and run that button. And the 
the status light is purple. And now I'm supposed to wait. And it says that it could take three to four minutes. And we're going to time lapse the firmware update because who wants to sit around and watch dead air? Okay, so everybody's running the same version now. So now let me go ahead and unplug this again. And now we'll go ahead and plug in this special cable off the light socket and we'll see if it can control it now. Hey, hey, there it is. Lamp second installed. You can customize it in settings. Let's do it. Once this firmware update is run, then the light socket in the camera will be running the latest and greatest. I think I just heard the light socket restart. Yep, all done. Another And there it is, at the top. Light socket. All right, let me screw this back in now that we have it set. I didn't want it to be on the whole time. So when you pull the little silicone stopper out and you go to plug in the cable that was provided, make sure it's the one with the little triangle in and not the one that came with the camera. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and ding that bell so you can get notified when we post new content. Until next time, my name is Ben Rennie and you guys have been great. Smart Home Rigs, helping your smart home tech work for you. See you in the next one.